banking issues from around the world. Here's today's story. Credit Suisse's $17 billion of risky bonds are now worthless. About 16 billion Swiss francs, $17.3 billion, of Credit Suisse Group AG bonds have become worthless after a takeover of the firm by rival UBS Group AG. The deal will trigger a complete write-down of the bank's additional Tier 1 bonds in order to increase core capital, Swiss financial regulator FINMA said in a statement on its website. UBS to buy Credit Suisse in historic deal to end crisis. The bond wipeout is the biggest loss yet for Europe's $275 billion AT1 market, far eclipsing the approximately 1.35 billion euros loss suffered by junior bondholders of Spanish lender Banco Popular SA back in 2017, when it was absorbed by Banco Santander SA to avoid a collapse. AT1 bonds were introduced in Europe after the global financial crisis to serve as shock absorbers when banks start to fail. They are designed to impose permanent losses on bondholders or be converted into equity if a bank's capital ratios fall below a predetermined level, effectively propping up its balance sheet and allowing it to stay in business. Investors had been concerned that a so-called bail-in would result in the at ones being written down, while senior debt issued by the holding company, Credit Suisse Group, would be converted into equity for the bank. AT1 bondholders include Pacific Investment Management Company, Invesco Limited and Blue Bay Funds Management Company. SA were among the many asset managers holding Credit Suisse AT1 notes, according to data compiled by Bloomberg. Their holdings may have changed or been sold entirely since their last regulatory filings. A spokeswoman for Invesco said that, due to portfolio disclosure policies, we wouldn't disclose any current movements in portfolios but our investment teams are continuing to monitor developments and prudently managing our clients' assets in light of current market conditions. The bonds were by Friday already trading at levels usually reserved for companies about to go bust. A slice of the bank's $1.65 billion note, issued less than a year ago, changed hands at about 35 cents on the dollar, according to trade reporting system Trace. The broader market for those risky European bank bonds, also known as contingent convertibles or COCOs, has also tumbled in the past two weeks, with the average AT1 now indicated at a price of just 82% of face value one of the steepest discounts on record. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos. Comment below for requests.